Hello and welcome to this week's training tidbit. My name is Ryan Cartledge from Animal Training Academy and today we're going to be talking about competing reinforcers. If you have been watching my videos for a while, you would have seen numerous animals, from birds of prey to parrots to marsupials and primates. Today though, we're going to be doing something different. I'm going to introduce you to some of the animals that I share my home slash life with. Firstly, my Aussie cat. Her name is Tilo. Then there's our very new family member, Phoebe, a half silky, half chihuahua. And last but not least, the very beautiful Bagheera. Today we're going to be doing some work on a variety of behaviours with Tilo the Aussie cat. Whilst we watch a training session with her, we will be discussing numerous reinforcers available in her environment. We start off in the kitchen, where Tilo is trained to target her face into a shallow plastic lid in order for me to attach a harness. Tilo knows the target behaviour very well. However, with a new family member in the environment, you can see at the start of this training session, there are competing reinforcers in play. Tilo knows that she has the option of targeting to earn some pieces of chicken. However, she tells me that watching Phoebe, who is currently in the garden, is initially more reinforcing than doing her targeting behavior. After a while though, the value of these competing reinforcers shifts, and Tilo decides chicken is more reinforcing than watching Phoebe. She targets, I attach her harness, and she earns her chicken. We then do a little bit of training targeting Tilo to a stick. Tilo knows this behavior well, and you can see she is focused, coming up and looking at me whilst I'm preparing her next piece of food. She is communicating that chicken is the most reinforcing thing in her environment at this stage. However, what would happen if we moved to a different environment? To test this out, we head out and into the garden. We do three targets to the stick out here. You can see on the second one, there's a reinforcer competing for Tilo's attention. And she takes a second to decide that at this point in time, chicken is still the most reinforcing thing. Although after the third target, I've lost her completely. Chasing bugs has taken the number one position as the most reinforcing thing in Tilo's environment. I know I can't compete with the bugs at this stage, so I head inside and pop the chicken in the fridge. After taking the harness off, I decide I want Tilo to come inside. And lucky for me, I know there's one competing reinforcer that wins out practically every time regardless of how many bugs there are to chase. Go, go, gadget laser. I give it a shake, stand back, and wait. Tilo tells me what I already suspect. The laser wins out over everything. Thanks for coming inside, Tilo. Here's your laser time, as promised. When training your animals, know that there's always competing reinforcers at play. Your animal will tell you where and what the reinforcers are. Animals are always going to orientate themselves towards the most reinforcing thing in their environment. It's our job to learn to listen, be okay with this, and modify the environment as necessary. I hope you have enjoyed this week's training tidbit. I have definitely enjoyed creating it for you. If you are watching it anywhere other than AnimalTrainingAcademy.com, then head over there and check out everything else I have on offer, including a full write-up of this video, the free Training Tidbits course, and the Training Tidbits podcast. I hope to see you there. Good luck with all your training endeavors, and we'll catch you again soon.